what is going on so on the river gonna do a little bit of snook fishing this morning target or snook and i'm sure we'll catch some jack as well but primarily want to catch some snook now it's a little chilly this morning but the conditions are perfect for a top water bite now the water temp is 69 degrees so i don't know if we'll get the top water bite but everything else is perfect where the light wind chop it is extremely overcast and foggy out it is Perfect conditions for top water bite, except for that it's a little bit on the cold side, but it's not bad, but it's on the fence. So we're gonna see if we can get on top water bite early this morning, and then once that happens, we're gonna move on and probably flip some docks and throw some swim baits and shrimp and different kind of stuff and just see if we can catch some snook this morning. I'm excited, it's been a long time since I really fished, like, really fished for snook other than the other day when I was back in the mangroves and caught some little dinky ones. So. This morning should be fun. I'm just excited to get out and hopefully catch some fish. All right, bump the top water around for a little bit. It's just a little too cold for Snook to be willing to come up and eat top water. So we're gonna move on early and just start flipping docks. I think when it's cold, they kind of like to settle down and get deeper on structure. So we're gonna slowly bump a uh, artificial shrimp up around some dock pilings and see how that works out for us here. Oh, that was sweet. I pulled it out over the piling and that snook came out and followed it and ate it like a top water across the piling. The little guy. Alright, just a little guy right there to start the morning, but it was cool. Just that was probably one of my fourth cast with the artificial shrimp right there. And he ate it like a top water. As I was saying, the top water bite's not gonna happen. I was pulling that shrimp across the top along a piling and he came up and ate it. But I mean these are just the most beautiful, beautiful fish. Whew. It feels good to catch a fish this morning, even if it's just a little tiny one. But we're gonna keep throwing, let this guy go, and see if we can catch a bigger one this morning. He is a beautiful little guy. sun in the water just for me. I got a Capri Sun and a Gatorade today. Must be my lucky day. I don't understand why people gotta leave their trash in the river. Alright, like like always this time of year the wind has seriously fired up. So we're moving into a little residential canal. We're gonna keep pitching our DOA around in here and hopefully connect with some fish, man. It is slow, slow, slow today. But I still am hopeful that we can hook into maybe one or two more fish before the day is over. Oh, there's a snook and he just freaking came unbuttoned. Gosh, dude, that is so frustrating. All right, we moved to a bridge here for the moment. Just try something a little different because the docks aren't killing it for us. I'm just going to flip a jig under here for a little bit on the uh, G Loomis and then maybe throw a swim bait. All right, we made a run through the bridge with the jig, but now we're going to throw a little swim bait right here and a one ounce jig head. This is a Kai Tech. I'm just going to launch it up. Let it hit the bottom and start dragging.
it's a big fish. Oh. 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 God. It feels like it's wrapped. Oh, the wind and the current got me bad here, guys. I need to go to him with a troll motor. Oh, I was literally just about to stop. I know it's probably hard to hear me. He's got me wrapped on something. Oh, God, that thump. I don't know if he's still even on here, but that thump was insane. Oh, yeah, he's still on. He's still on. He's wrapped on something. Come up, buddy. This is uh, feeling interesting here. It's digging its head like a maniac. I'm only running 30 fluoro on this thing. Oh, come on, buddy, come on. Be nice to me, be nice to me. Oh, God, this fish is so freaking unbelievably strong. He's rubbing on something down there, he's rubbing on something. Oh my God. I'm really sorry about the wind noise, guys. There's really nothing I can do about it. He's on something. I don't think this is a snook, to be honest. Oh. Unless he has something wrapped around the line with him, this fish is just way too heavy. The leader's right here. He's underneath. Alright, he's out in the open. He's out in the open. Alright, I can go a little lighter on him now. Holy crap, what do I have on? Yep, just what I thought. It's a freaking Jew fish. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me get my net. Oh, it's a Goliath. A little Goliath. Oh, we did not like the look of that net. Now let's see if we can manage this without losing him. Oh, he might come off here. Oh, he's a little big for this net here. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I want to show you how he choked that thing. Okay, come on, buddy. Look at that in his mouth. He inhaled that. He has a freaking huge mouth on him. Okay, it's heavy. Okay, all right, so that guy right there, that is a Goliath grouper also known as a Jewfish. So, there's a legislation on these things. They are protected, and you're not supposed to remove adults from the water, but you are allowed to remove juveniles to unhook them and take photos. So we're making this as quick as physically possible right here. That is a heavy, heavy fish. Oh my God. Ooh, I don't even know what to say. Look at the mouth. Oh, he's just a beast. I don't want to leave him out of the water very long here. You gotta watch out for these fish. You really gotta take care of them. So, that is awesome. I don't even know what to really say about that, but there you go. Okay, we gotta release this thing. Oh, gosh, he did not think about it for a second. Oh, wait, I'm gonna see if I can do something here. Oh, no, come on. Ah, there he goes. Oh my gosh. That fish has me shaking and out of breath. Holy crap, dude. Ooh. I thought I had a 50 inch snook on, man. When I first hit, I thought I just had an enormous snook on. And then after a while of finding, I was like, dude, this is gonna be a grouper. I can feel the way it's digging. Um, man, I don't even know what to say. 
But like I said, juvenile ones, I've looked at the FWC website. You are allowed to take them out of the water to unhook them and get a picture, but you're supposed to do it as quick as possible, and that's what I try to do right there. Oh, that guy was hurting my back, man. That was a heavy, heavy fish. And he just scarfed a little swim bait right there. Let me show you what I'm throwing. This is a, a Kai Tech on a one ounce jig head. That was just insane. If I didn't have this Calcutta and this really heavy G Loomis, there's no way that fish was gonna come up, dude. He was so strong. And I was just able to keep him off the pilings because that really heavy action rod and just put so much pressure on that fish. Oh, that was really awesome to hit that after a long day of not catching really anything except a little tiny snook. Whew. You can tell I'm, I'm pumped right now, man. Oh God, that was insane. What's a, a bummer about that right there, catching that big, or that little Goliath, I should say, is that he had a second line in his mouth that I wanted to get out. And so after I talked to the camera, showed him, I dipped him in the water and I was gonna just dip him in the water, let him get a breath for a second, then pull him out and try to get that second line out. But literally the second that thing touched the water, he kicked off really hard. So, I mean, it's good that he kicked off and he's back to uh, fighting away, but I would have liked to have the second line out, but it's all right. That was just really, really insane. Now, I know a lot of people like, I, I've seen people say that Goliath should be brought off the endangered list and they should open up a season on them. But the thing about it is from what I know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, they take an incredibly long time to reach sexual maturity. And so if you start harvesting them, they're gonna really struggle. And people still legally harvest them all the time, unfortunately, scumbags, honestly, who do that. But they take a long time to grow and that's why they get so humongous because they take so long, but that also means they take a very long time to reproduce and make more Goliaths. So yeah. But that was cool to catch that. That's always something definitely, definitely interesting. But I might throw for a little bit more, dude. But that thing, oh, my journal and still pumping from that. That was very, very cool. All right, I've said it probably like 10 times now already, but Goliath groupers, you cannot take adults or large ones out of the water. And according to the FWC website, you can take juveniles out to unhook them and to take pictures. So he was definitely still on the juvenile side, but he was getting up there. If he had maybe 10 to 15 more pounds on him, I would not have taken that fish out of the water. And there's a reason behind that. They are very large fish in water. They're not affected by gravity. So when you take a big fish like that out of the water, its internal organs compress and you can kill them. So don't do it. Nothing makes me more pissed off when I see people on Instagram, photos of people with holding Goliath groupers out of the water by their jaws, holding tarpons out of the water. Tarpon, you can't take them out of the water if they're over 40 inches. Don't do it. Don't take tarpon out of the water. Don't take big Goliaths out of the water. Don't take billfish out of the water unless you're gonna keep them. But you know me, I say don't keep them. But that's just, you're gonna hurt those fish really is all this to it. And I could, I could rant for an hour about what makes me mad about <laughs> pictures people post but yeah don't gill plate tarpon or hold up really any fish by their gill plate like that you know what I mean like vertically up and down that's just bad but don't take big tarpon big goliaths out of the water there you go enough said but after that ranting I'm done cooled down that was very very exciting very cool to catch that big fish that was just an awesome way to really make this day not terrible you got a boat coming up behind me, so I'm going to close it quick. I appreciate you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very, very cool experience for me. That's the biggest Goliath I've ever caught. I've never fished for them ever. I've caught three in my life, and they've all been accidental while fishing for snook. So that was cool. I appreciate you guys very much. Until next time, see ya.